Okay, I'm going to go over how to um, create the rest of the completed projects page. So as you can see, I have your um, jump links here, which if you click on one, it'll jump down to the appropriate content. So right now, just for demo purposes, I already set up the Kern Pavilion perimeter sidewalks and Benson Monument restoration. So to get started, let's just focus on adding these um, blocks of content. The easiest way to do this um, is to duplicate an existing block and then drag it down. So as you can see, I'm sort of going with this left, right, left alignment. So based on that, the next content block that we want um, to enter, we'll wanna have a right aligned image. So again, the best thing to do is go um, and highlight and hover over so you get the green section block. And then this little icon here stands for duplicate. So you click that and you'll get an exact clone below. And then you click your drag and drop tool, click and drag beneath the last block of content. From here, <clears throat> you want to edit. So above the, um, below the Benton Monument, we're going to put the Rock Garden Irrigation. And then we can add Rock Garden text. And this would be a rock garden image of your choosing. So the most important thing that you need to keep in mind here is that in order for this link, rock garden irrigation, to jump down to the rock garden irrigation section is we're going to need to tag it. So you press the, you hover over your section again, press these three dots, which is settings. No, I'm sorry. Press the gear icon. You should be familiar with this pane by now. Click advanced. And under CSS ID and classes, you'll see here it's been tagged with perimeter because we cloned it from perimeter. You wanna change this ID or tag to it does it can be you know anything really but we're going to call it rock garden and then click your green arrow so you're going to want to remember what you labeled or tagged or gave the id for that section to go back up to your jump link navigation highlight rock garden irrigation click insert edit link. And you'll see here, I had already called it rock, but let's pretend that you haven't entered that yet. So you're going to want to put rock garden and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have this hashtag here. And then press okay. Check and then let's save this and test it, so save. And then again, to, to actually test links, we'll need to exit Visual Builder. Now let's click that and we get taken down to Rock Garden. It's Benton, Rock Garden. So let's do one more. We're going to enable Visual Builder again. Okay, so we've done rock garden. Next, we're going to want to do playground update and expansion. So since we just did a right aligned image, um, let's um, keep up with the pattern we have going and do the left aligned image. 
So again, we're going to go up to our most um, to one of the left align image sections. Hover until we get the screen toolbar. Press duplicate. Again, hover until we get the green tool um, toolbar. Move the row using the drag and drop tool. Add it below. And now I forget what this one is called. Playground update and expansion. We can say. here and then um, you'll be able to ed edit to the um, image of your choice. And now again, the most important part, we click our settings, go to advanced, CSS ID in classes, and you'll see it already has the CSS ID Benton because we duplicated this Benton section. You want to add, let's just call this playground. Press your green check mark. Scroll back up to the top, and we're going to want to make sure that this playground update and expansion has the same tag. And it does. You'll see hashtag playground. So if it already has this, um, path before it, that's fine. You can leave that there. But what you definitely, or um, you can have hashtag and then the label, you get it. Then press OK, your green check mark. Let's test that. So we're going to save. Exit Visual Builder. Okay, let's click Playground Update and Expansion, and it takes us down to Playground Update and Expansion. So pretty, uh, pretty straightforward.